Hey Scrap Fans, this is Patrice from Cropsy Turvy. Uh, you can find us at www.cropsyturvy.com and also at www.cropsyturvy.blogspot.com. And I'm super, super excited for this video today because I love this little mini album. Um, I've been watching a lot of Kathy Orta lately. Uh, if you don't know Kathy Orta, she has Paper Phenomenon, um, and you can find her at paperphenomenon.blogspot.com. And she is truly a genius, and I just I love listening to her. I've been playing her videos a lot lately, because um, I just like listening to her accent. And she's very authentic and real, and she's a genius, and she comes up with these great albums, and she shares, and that's what I love um, most, is that she shares her ideas with us. So... I um, watched her video on the envelope mini album and she uses these recollections envelopes from Michaels. So you can get these at Michaels um, in the scrapbook section by the stationery. And they come with, um, they're actually note cards and envelopes. And it comes with a card and it comes with the coordinating envelope and you use those to make the mini album and she's got a great tutorial on that so I'm not going to bother with doing that I'm just going to show you my take on it um, when I use this album or this paper from Fancy Pants which is one of my favorites it's called It's the Little Things is the name of the paper line and that's also the name of my mini book and I don't have any photos in it yet but eventually I'm going to put photos of my daughter um, all those pictures that just you don't have anywhere else you don't have like it's not a holiday or um, a birthday, just those little things like blowing bubbles in the backyard and jumping on the trampoline, and I thought this would be the perfect place for those. So I'm going to walk you through my book real quickly. Um, it does have a duct tape spine binding, and it does use hinge bindings on the inside, and I'll show you that. And I have um, some lace on here, and this little piece of lace, or ribbon I guess it is here, I found at CKC last year. And I told Keith, this is one of those things that makes me glad that I buy things just in case I might use them one day. Because when I bought it, I didn't really have anything in mind for it, but it ended up being really perfect um, with the colors. And uh, this ribbon here is also from Fancy Pants, and I made a little flower with that. I used um, Kathy's um, charm, I forget what she calls this, the charm closure. And I have a little lobster claw on here and she puts the little stopper puts an eyelet through the page and then puts a little uh, jump ring and a small piece of chain I hope I'm in frame there as the uh, closure on this and that works really well and then I just um, put the same thing on the back cover here and then I hung some charms that I dyed with some uh, Adirondack alcohol ink from Ranger and that's my cover and then I just popped up a piece of the title and I popped up the little bird here also with some pop dots and just walk you through real quick I love the fact that this album lays flat and it's the hinge system with the gussets in here that allows for that um, to happen and like I said Kathy and it's Kathy with a K um, she runs through that in her tutorial and she shows you exactly how to do that and then there's the pockets here and then you have the note cards and they're matted and there's going to be tons of room for photos and I can do full 4x6 photos and then we have on the next page there's um, a pocket here with another photo mat and then there's pockets down here at the bottom for journaling cards and there's just you know, like I said, a ton of space here for every little thing. I can put photos back here and then journal on these cards. And then you have the note cards throughout. I just, I love this paper line. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I love this paper line so much. I wanted to show you some of the other things I did with it. And Keith's always making fun of me because I say, don't throw away those scraps. Don't throw away those scraps. Because I think when you really like paper there's no reason to throw away uh, something that you can use and I, I laugh every time I think of that because there was I know you all probably heard of Dennis Miller the comedian he had a bit one time where he was talking about Martha Stewart writing a new book called don't throw away that bowel movement which <laughs> I guess is kind of crude but 
it's just you can you can use these things for you know something there's no reason to throw them away now I'm not saying get crazy and save every little piece of everything but with this album in particular I'll just keep going through this real quick with this album in particular the way you cut the papers and Kathy's tutorial shows you how to cut them um, so that you get the most efficient use of your paper and we started with the 12 by 12 and we cut out um, we cut them into six, six by twelve, and then you cut one piece into I think it's like seven, seven and a quarter inches, and then one piece into four. And the bigger piece gives you your mats for these, this side of your album, and the smaller piece gives you the mats for your note cards. <clears throat> so there's very little waste, and the scraps that you do have are um, all the same size, so that makes them really nice and easy to do other projects with. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did with that. The first thing I did with some of my scraps is I got this notebook, um, this binder at Staples. It's an Avery binder. I was so excited because I'd never seen this size before. I don't know if it's been out there and I just missed it, but um, I'm a sucker for little notebooks and things. And it, it came with this pocket and it has the tab dividers and I have all my notes in here from the videos that I've watched and there's graph paper that you can get with it and there's page protectors, these uh, the small page protectors, and there's the photo um, protectors, and then there's a pocket. And I kind of thought, well, this is kind of like, sort of like a take on the Smashbook and some of the other products that are out there that are Smashbook-like. Um, and I thought, well, this is great for me to collect all my stuff and keep my notes and keep in my purse because it's not too big. It's not like a great big binder taking up space in my purse. So I wanted to do a little something with this, so I just cut a mat to size here, and I just used my scraps, and I layered it with these with this quilting effect, and I just, I love it. Every time I look at it, it makes me happy. I don't know why. Um, and I uh, distressed the edges here with a little black, black soot distress ink, and then I did a little strip for the spine. I hope you can see that. And then I did um, a little piece in the back, and I had to make the back a little smaller because of these little um, hinges here that hold in the rings so I just kind of tried to make it even on both sides but that was some of my scraps so I was really happy with that and I thought well I still have so many more scraps so I said let me take some scraps and I liked the whole quilting idea and I didn't want to waste any paper so I laid them out on a 12 by 12 and I again just it just makes me happy to look at this and I didn't have to throw all these pieces away and it just kind of, you know, it gives me a nice base page for a scrapbook page. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, maybe I'll figure it out and share that later. And then the last thing I did, and I had started this mini album for my puppies um, when I first got them over the summer. And I had started the album, and I had used this paper line, the It's the Little Things, because I liked it and I thought it was appropriate. And I had, it's just a Meyer Road chipboard book. I think this is the 6x6 six six size. And it just sat blank on my, um, on my shelf for a while. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to use up the rest of these scraps. So I took the thin strips that resulted when you cut down the four, um, the four inch papers. I had all these thin strips and I just layered them on um, a piece of black chipboard. And then I cut um, a number two on my Cricut and I put a black shadow in the back and I just layered more pieces, some of those little pieces. And then I used some of these um, embellishments were from the kit uh, that I think I had purchased a uh, kit from CKC that had uh, this paper line in it. So I used these pieces and then I did just a strip for the spine using some of those smaller ones and then the back. And it finished off my album that was unfinished, and I thought it just lended itself really nicely to what was in the album. And I just, like, I don't know why, it just makes me smile. I guess it's the little things that, that make me smile. And I wanted to share it with you all um, so that maybe I can inspire you to have some ideas of what you can do with some of your scraps. And uh, so they don't go to waste. So again, I urge you to check out uh, Kathy Orta, O-R-T-A. At Paper Phenomenon, and I urge you to check out our blog um, at cropsyturvy.com. 
And again, we will be at uh, St. Andrew's Catholic School uh, Crop the Day Away fundraiser on Friday, February 24th and Saturday, Saturday, February 25th. So we hope to see you all there. And if there's anything we can do for you, drop us a line at info, dot, or info at cropseedturvy.com. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my projects today. And until next time, happy scrapping. Thank you.